Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. In one of my recent videos I repaired this Fluke 343A DC voltage calibrator and it worked perfectly fine. I replaced just a couple of dead electrolytic capacitors and I wanted to recap the whole thing eventually. And since then it developed some offset, let's say around 25 microvolts on the zero setting and the lowest 10 volt range. So perhaps some other capacitors started leaking some more. I really hope this goes away after recapping. And here I have a pile of capacitors ordered from Mouser. Let's go! I made the painful decision not to replace these big caps for now. These are high voltage screw terminal capacitors. And I unscrewed them and tested them, they look fine. And I couldn't find exact replacements. And what I could find was too expensive, more than $20 a piece. Perhaps I will find a better deal eventually. The rest are reasonably priced. Some of them are a bit expensive because I decided to buy low leakage hermetically sealed tantalum caps for use in a chopper amplifier here. So uh, some of these are $6 a piece or something like that, but just a few. The rest are 3 to $4. Probably an overkill, but at least not very expensive. This whole pile was less than $100. Alright, replaced all capacitors, and these old ones measure just fine, except a couple of bad ones I replaced in the repair video. Some of them are Sprague, some Philips, and a couple of CDE capacitors, and the new ones are high quality Vichet capacitors, and as I mentioned before, some hermetically sealed tantalums by Kemet. The offset did not go away, so I started going through troubleshooting steps, and I found that the chopper amplifier needed adjustment. There is a test point here, TP10, and we are supposed to see something like this. This is after adjustment. Spikes up and down, approximately the same amplitude, and not more than 300 millivolts, or about 600 peak to peak. But they were gigantic and uh, to the negative side only. So I adjusted this port uh, for balance and that one uh, for a lowest amplitude. And now it looks as described in the service manual. I also found that wiggling some switches could change that offset quite a bit, so I cleaned the switches and now I cannot reproduce this anymore. And also the service manual says that adjusting the chopper amplifier is supposed to shift zero point. So I adjusted zero points for all three ranges and now we are good. And this is one volt, about the same we have seen in the repair video. And this is 10 volts. Again about the same we have seen before. I don't think it makes sense to adjust anything else. It seems to be in spec and I need a better meter for this. So I will stop at this point. Thanks for watching. Bye.